Brothers and sisters, let's let your energy just brother wisdom. What's going on, guys? All right, you already know that the planetary convergence ends on uh, December the fourth, and we told you guys that the the convergence of the star systems begin December fourteenth. We gotta understand, understand, overstand what is taking place right now. We are uh, the the great celestial event is reaching our planet. Is soon to be here very soon so we have to prepare ourselves for um something big and powerful and we're looking at a fall i mean it's literally it's going to be a fall of so much and when and we have been accustomed to this type of living uh, by these inorganic beings they have literally caused us to be accustomed to a life that we're not supposed to be uh, be used to you know money and and things and positions and you know they they have literally t- taken so many so many of us out of balance all right so the uh, planetary convergence, is right now until December the 4th, that will be 180 days until December the 4th, all right? And what we are looking at, like we said last night, um, all of the realms are now coming together, but there is a more powerful convergence that will be coming after December 4th, which will be your... um, um, the convergence of the star system, star system convergence, star system convergence is very important because this is bringing the star systems together. But as the star systems come together, they're bringing the planets together. So it's like a, it's, it's like, um, if you can imagine, um, a bunch of snowflakes. I'm going to have to write out the the, the diagram, but a bunch of snowflakes just laying down. And, you know, each snowflake has a different shape. All right. And that's just like the star system. Each star system has a different shape. But then they have a a line going from one snowflake to the other one, to the other, connecting each other. Remember, a line uh, represents one point of energy to another point of energy. Like we said before in the math class, they lied and said, oh, yeah, you know, a line is from from one point to to another point or, or, you know, from point A to point B is what a line is. But a line is a line represents one point of energy to another point of energy. So this is what's happening right now. We have points of energies connecting to each other. So all of the star systems are going to be connecting to each other. So and, and and this is going to be like a second planetary convergence, but it's literally going to be the, the power of the star systems in each galaxy that are going to com- com- combine together as one energy, as one force, as one means of, of power. And there, it, these star systems are going to literally ch- change the frequencies, and this will bring the beginning of 2023. 2023 will be the year of conflict and destruction. All right, and the reason why we say conflict and destruction is because the, the frequencies are going to be exceedingly, extremely, exceedingly high. All right, as we begin to move into a new energy. Hold on here. Right, as we begin to move into a new energy, a new power, a new of uh, a new type of, of of force, we're gonna see things that we've never seen before. We're gonna they're gonna be things that that have never been in 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 the existence of nature. When that state that statement said, "There's nothing new under the sun," there's a shitload of new stuff under the sun all the time. Nothing repeats. Nothing repeats. I mean, even though we repeat um, as far as, you know, birth and rebirth and we come back. But a lot of times we don't come back to the same realm, you know. So we have other realms within our planet 
but then we have other planets within our galaxy that sometimes we return to. So we don't come back to the same place. So there's no circle of repetition constantly going where the same thing is over and over and over again. That's what the white man tells you. That's what these these Saxons tell you. And then it's, it's all a lie. It's all a lie. All right. So what we're looking at is 2023 the year of conflict and destruction where this system will literally begin to explode right now it's imploding all right the frequency is causing the system to implode it's imploding on itself but come 2023 we will watch the system begin in its in its beginning stages of exploding and right everything will be exposed there'll be a lot of things that's going to be falling forever um you all have to going to have to protect yourself you know learn you know the ways of the force learning the ways of the cosmos we're going to go deeper into that um i want to talk to you guys about blood bending in a little while because that is one thing that is one uh thing that i have an ability to blood bend uh, but I'm not gonna get into that right now because that's not the message right now. But we're gonna we're gonna get into that. But um, you must understand understand overstand, brothers and sisters, that everything that you see that this so-called white man, these Saxons are doing to try to bring to uh, to keep their system alive is falling. All right. Number one, they never learn from their mistakes. All right? That's the first thing. These are beings who never learn from their mistakes. This is, and that's all a part of the insanity that they possess. You know, they keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, hoping for a different result. But they never, ever, ever learn from their mistakes. And this is their downfall. And you have to you have to understand, understand, overstand. When you learn from your mistakes, that's a part of evolution, you know. And they were not designed to evolve. I mean, literally, they were not designed to evolve. There's, you know, when you talk about evolution, you're talking about um, going from one stage to another stage to another stage. What have you seen in this system? Nothing. Nothing has changed. What did they do? They, oh yeah, well, we created AI. You've been creating AI. AI has been in existence for a long time. You're just now exposing the AI that you've been working with for a long time. But nothing has advanced. When you talk about evolution, all right, when you're talking about evolution, you're talking about something that is happening naturally, something that takes place on a, on a natural occurrence, all right? When we, when we can evolve from one state of matter to another state of matter, we can evolve. You know, the point of evolution. So, so this is this is another part when we're looking at everything in nature evolving and the the, the energy increasing and the frequencies increasing and the powers increasing. Everything is increasing, you know. So, you know, we have to understand, understand, overstand that come 2023, it's definitely going to be the beginning of end game for all of them. And that's why it's important for you all to, you know, every everything that you've learning now, you know, and if you made any mistakes in this point, learn from those mistakes. All right. And make yourself more, more, more greater. Make yourself more powerful. You know, so we can't continue to play the role of our enemies and keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. You see, we at these jobs, we keep doing the same thing over and over and over again at these jobs. Nothing is evolving. All right. They want you to do the same thing over and over again. You look at uh, the politics. They keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. But you brothers and sisters who made that that decision, I need to do something different. I'm going to meditation. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I haven't built. All right. So you began building. And then you realize, okay, I'm building, but 
I need to build greater. So then you start building greater. Then you understanding. So you're saying, wow, now as I'm building greater, I'm increasing in the energies that are within me and I'm increasing in the powers that belong to me. So then you begin to evolve into another uh, type of energy where you say, okay, so now um, I'm building, but man, now I've got to to create more energy because this is what we did. We are, we are literally eth etheric beings and you have to understand, understand, understand that ether wants to evolve constantly. That's what ether is, wants to do is evolve constantly. That's why so many brothers and sisters who are caught up in this system, you know, they are um, they're looking to Oh, I can get to this place and I can get to that place and, and I can, oh, well, I'm going to take my money. I'm going to take my money. I'm going to put it in Bitcoin because I'm not going to worry about money anymore. I'm gonna put it. So they're trying to evolve, but they don't understand that the evolutionary process doesn't deal with the physical. It deals with the spiritual and your body, you know, the spiritual and the, and the energies all around you. That's where evolution begins. So we're looking at uh, 2023, the year of conflict and destruction, because when we say conflict, these inorganic beings are going to be fighting against each other. They're not they're the, 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 the frequencies will be so high that will literally cause them to want to destroy each other. Many of them will begin fighting. That's why they are already talking about, well, you know, we're looking at a civil war. You know, let them have their civil war. That's not our battle. Let the humans fight the humans. All right. That's just that's just it. Let them kill each other. That's not our battle. Our job is to preserve our planet, protect our planet and build our planet up to the state of uh, what our uh, celestial or our galactic sun is. And that's that's what we're supposed to be. We were building our planet to be just like the sun. All right. A true power, a true energy, a true force. All right. We have so long been caught up in this system that we cannot find our way. All right. We have done everything that they have been doing and we have yet to find our way. So we have to do something different. So this conflict that they're going to be having is all about the system falling and they can't control the falling. All right. You have to understand, 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 overstand. These inorganic beings want control of everything. And because they cannot control the fall of their system, there's going to be conflict and they're going to be blaming each other and they're going to be starting to go to war with each other. And then the destruction of the system will be imminent, it will be inevitable. And we will watch everything fall and crumble to the ground as it has began now. But the year 2023 is going to be even worse. All right. They're letting you. They're, they're letting you know. Yeah, everything is falling. Everything is falling. We, we're talking about a complete, a complete collapse of this uh, so-called white man system. We're talking about a complete collapse of of their system, and the energies are going to be so high that the that the you know, like we said before, their systems are going to literally implode. Just like we talked about the banks. You know, hard cash. It won't be the more hard cash. They're going to be trying to go completely digital with everything because there will be no need for hard cash. There will, and literally the digital thing is going to be is is going to be so rough and, and ragged. You know, they're they're going to try to hold and control their banks. But the frequencies and the energies are going to be going so high that it's literally like we say, it's going to the cause cause an eruption. Earthquakes are going to uh, be greater. Uh, there's going to be extreme heat in some places. Um, uh, I'm not even going there. Um, it's going to be some extreme heat in some in in, in majority of the places. Their winter time program is going to be. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Their winter time program is going to be a complete failure as they are going to try to make it cold. They're going to try to, I mean, the, everything that they, that they have been doing to control everything is literally going to be in a state of demise and decay. All right. As we are watching their system going to the beginning stages of decay right now. 
and you know we are a, we are a part of it because we have been put into it but at the same time we have the ability to remove ourselves from it in certain ways you know yeah we're going to work this is the system that we're in those of you who can um can live without the cash so be it you know um this is the system that we live in and we have to literally begin to bring ourselves into uh, uh an enlightened state of saying okay we are literally moving into a completely different area that we have never seen before that not even our ancestors had seen had went through what we're getting ready to go through all right and it's literally going to be a, 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 a time of destruction. We're going to watch everything fall. You know, you're going to places that you're used to going to all the time to shop. Many of those places won't be there. Some of those places are going to be struggling. The price of everything is literally going to rise. Why? Because the frequency is rising. The frequency is destroying. So because the, the energy and whatever the energy of the money, it will be so low. They're going to try to raise the price, which is trying to raise the frequency so that they can try to um, um, uh, it's basically it's a state of survival is what it is. It's literally a state of survival. So we're looking at 2023, the year of conflict and destruction. All right. And this is going to be all because of the um, convergence of our solar systems. All right. Or a star system, the star system convergence. What is star system is the solar system, but a star system convergence um, will be the beginning stages. But right now, as we as we came, we come in, we as we came, we started begin with the 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 universal convergence when all the universes converged. And then we went to the to the to the uh, galactic convergence. When all the galaxies converged and now now we're into the planetary convergence where all the realms are coming together and uh, on, on our planet, all the realms are coming together on our planet. And we're watching literally this energy literally dissolve their system. All right. Since they want to go to war with nature, nature is showing them how to war. OK, which means that they literally um, have nothing to fight against nature whatsoever. So now that we're going into the, the star system convergence, the star system convergence is literally going to combine all of the realms within each star system as one. And we're going to see a lot of things here on our planet in our realm that we've never seen before. So all of the realms within our star system are going to become one. As right now, the planetary convergence, all the realms of our planet are becoming one. And we are seeing a lot of things and noticing a lot of things because this, this is the way it's supposed to be. When they came to our realm and caused us to fall, they separated our realm from the other realms, which, low, which caused us to move into a lower dimension. Now that we have awakened, so many of us have awakened we're looking at higher dimensions. We're looking at higher energies. We're looking at higher frequencies. We're looking at higher vibrations. And these all play a role when you're dealing with um, the uh, this convergence here. When you talk about this convergence, that's where you go back into entropy. That's where you go back into uh, a perpetual motion. That's where you go back to the constant velocity. You know, that's when you go back into thermodynamics. You know, we're talking about science. We're talking about everything in increasing the spin. You talking about when you talk about increasing the spin, what's happening is creating new frequencies that's never been heard before. That's never. That's not even on the charts. And this system would not would not be able to operate under this uh, new energy, this new power, this new frequencies, this new vibrations. But we, as the original beings, we will be able to operate. All right, these inorganic beings are going to try to come to us because they're going to be looking at us as a source. They're going to be um, trying to look at look at to us as a source of life for them. Because they're gonna to need to feed off of our of, of of us. That's the whole key point. Because the nature around us is gonna be literally causing their bodies to break down. 
All right. And this is and we are and just like their system is so fragile. Their bodies are fragile as well. So we are watch. We're going to be watching everything. We're going to be witnessing everything, but we're going to be a part of this as well. All right. So you got to continue to build. You got to continue to create. You got to continue to meditate. You got to continue to evolve into higher dimensional beings. All right. Tap it, linking into nature, linking into the powers of the energies. Our sun, our galactic sun is constantly sending us information, is constantly sending us frequencies, constantly sending us vibrations at a high rate. Why? Because we have awakened and this and this is the this is the result of our awakening. All right. This is the result of our awakening. And this is how this is how everything is supposed to operate. All right. We're supposed to move into a higher frequency, higher vibrations, higher energies, higher everything. This is how it's supposed to be. So coming the year 2023, we're looking at the year of conflict and destruction when this system is literally going to implode or going to explode. Right now it's imploding just right now because this is a year of the phantom energy where they really, you see you, I see watching brothers and sisters. You guys are watching the politics like I'm watching the politics. They're crawling in the dark. They don't know where they're going. They don't know what they're doing. They're, they're, they've already started blaming each other. There, I mean, there's like cl- conflict with not without resolution. You know, the year of the of, of the phantom energy, and and they can't they can't tell. So this phantom energy is literally going to come 2023 is 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 literally going to come become evident and is going to um, show itself. And we're gonna watch as this system literally falls to is back. All right, guys. So I pass this on to you. All right. Hope you guys understand, understand, overstand. This is, um, this is the beginning of this end of our enemies. This is literally the beginning of the end or we are not in the beginning. We are, we're, um, we're within the middle part of the, the fall of this system. It's not the beginning. We're in the middle part of the fall of this system right now. So we are watching everything um, go um, literally haywire. All right. Like we say, this is the year of the phantom energy. I'm being redundant now, and it's, which means it's time for me to, to end this session here. But um, 2023, the year of conflict and destruction. All right where the dark energy is going to manifest itself. The dark matter is going to manifest itself. The plasma is going to manifest itself. The energies are going to manifest themselves. You know, the, the, the uh, frequencies are going to manifest themselves. The vibrations are going to manifest themselves. And you got us looking at it. And, and, and we who are in tuned, we will begin to think on certain things and the manifestation of our thoughts will be uh, evident that we are nature all right so don't get um used to being this part of the system you brothers and sisters who caught up in this religion if you still caught up in this in this religious sector uh really because this i'm telling you now you can go through the bible all you want to that shit will never evolve it will never ever evolve. If those same books, those same words are gonna be there, and you will never be able to evolve. No matter how much you try to fit a scripture, or no matter how much you try to fit a situation with the scripture, it will never evolve. We only evolve within ourselves, which means you have to go into a state of meditation. You have to literally go into the state of being within, just like we talked about before, sharing information, linking into the force, being a part of nature, because we are coming into completely different times, brothers and sisters, and these inorganic beings, they don't know what to do. As their system, as their system, their virus system begins to be weeded out because the frequencies, in order to destroy the virus, you have to have an extremely high frequency, extremely high vibrations, extremely uh, high energies, extremely uh, high levels of ether. I mean, all these ether, the, 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 the plasma, the dark energy, the dark matter. Um, we, we're talking about all the other elements, you, you know, all the elements of the planets beginning to raise their vibrations, raise their frequencies. Frequencies. And as everything ra- raises, it all those frequencies come together and creates a new frequency. 
All right. So we have to understand, understand, overstand that it's going to be one frequency and this frequency is going to be multiple frequencies from multiple elements, from multiple energies, from multiple forces all coming together as one. This is the year. This will be the year of conflict and destruction. And it will start December the 14th of 2022. And the the select the. Um, not the celestial convergence, the um, star system, the convergence of the star system will be, uh, will last for 360 days. So December 14th of 2022 to December uh, 9th of 2023, December 9th, 2023 is when the uh, stars, the convergence of the star systems will end. So we will watch extremely high frequencies, extremely high energies. We will watch things that have never taken place. Things that are not written in the book as prophecy. All right. We will watch all this this happen the way it's supposed to happen. I'm going to increase my frequencies and vibrations. You must increase your frequencies and vibrations. We must take charge of our planet we must take charge of our lives. When we take charge of our lives, we take charge of our planet. Balance. It's all about balance, brothers and sisters. The more balanced you are, the more power that you uh, uh, give to nature. The more power you give to nature, the more power nature gives back to you. And you share this energy with other brothers and sisters, which is this powerful knowledge. You're sharing this so that you can, you know, that true, the real circle of life. Where you give energy and energy is given back to you stronger than what you gave out. All right. That's a, that's a true circle of life. So understand, understand, overstand, brothers and sisters. We're bringing our planet into a whole nother uh, 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 realm. But just just remember this. Everything happens for a reason. All right. Remember, all of this was destined to happen anyway. It was destined to happen. So in order to become gold, you must go through the fire. This is the fire, brothers and sisters. This is the fire. All right. So for some of us, it may seem painful. It may seem bothersome, but just remember temporary unsatisfaction brings a lifetime of satisfaction. All right. Temporary unsatisfaction brings a lifetime of satisfaction. You know, you might be Unsatisfied, the short amount of time that we've been through, because only it's, it's what it's been four hundred years. Four hundred years is a short time compared to the to the 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 life of our planet. What do we say? Nine hundred and sixty-eight nan million, you know, close to a decillion. So this little four hundred years is just like you know, just a a small wrinkle in the timeline of our planet. All right. So it's important that we understand, understand, overstand that we are moving into a whole nother, another area of destiny and no longer fate. All right. You control the destiny of your life and you rule out fate. Raise your frequencies, raise your vibrations, evolve with nature, evolve with everything else that's evolving around us. And you want to find yourself in a completely different state of, of energy, a state of being a state of power. All right, brothers and sisters, I pass this on to you. Hope you understand, understand, overstand everything that's been said. 2023, the year of conflict and destruction. Right now, we're in the middle of 2022, which is the year of uh, the phantom energy. All right, this phantom energy ends when the uh, when the the star the star system convergence begins, which is December. Uh, the 14th and actually if the phantom energy doesn't end it just begins to manifest itself this, this is what it is it begins to manifest itself it becomes the, that phantom energy will show itself as the true dark energy that's why we told these inorganic beings yeah you have until August 25th to show that your money is more powerful than melanin your money is, money is more powerful than, than melanin than carbon and they have literally failed to produce uh, such things. So we'll watch. We're gonna in the month of August. We're gonna watch a lot of things happen in the month of August. Keep your eyes open, brothers and sisters. 
all right? Keep your eyes open. Stop expecting for something big to happen. So many so many brothers and sisters are like, well, you know, you said this was going to happen. You said that things did happen. Just the way we said it was going to happen, things happen. It's just that you're looking for something to happen on a large scale, and things don't happen on a large scale. It happens, you know, things happen according to the balanced energy. That's how things happen. So nothing's going to happen on a large scale. You have literally got to watch everything. You got to watch the politics. You got to watch the finances. You got to watch, watch nature. You got to watch, watch it all. You got to watch it all. So that you can get the, because this, these are all puzzle pieces. And once you put the puzzle pieces together, you'll get the big picture. Okay, brothers and sisters. So I pass this on to you. I hope you understand, understand, or overstand everything that's been said. And I catch you guys later. You know the deal. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever, ever. And remember, chaos brings change. Peace ain't never brought nothing. Chaos brings change. All right? Much power to you all.